Uh, Libra, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for September 9th through the 15th. So, let's see. Let's see what's happening with you guys. Uh, I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling a final tip from the universe card for you. These are general readings, so um, it may not apply to all of you. Sorry. I'm trying. But it may not be the case. So, you know, if it doesn't fit... If you had, let's say, two, three readings from the past, from this channel, that apply to you, and this one doesn't, uh, just go with it. It's fine. I'm sure you have other awesome YouTube readers that you watch. And there are several out there. Quite a few. So, you know, don't force it. Let's see. Let's see what's happening for Libra. Of course this is happening for Libra. What else? Whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Why, why are you trying to run away from me? Because you're a good card. All right, so the overall energy for this reading is the full card. Um, you could be in that place where you're ready to take a chance on things, whatever. Uh, work, love, friends, family, whatever, in whichever aspect. Uh, you know, this is a person that goes for it, doesn't care about consequences doesn't look you know at what's holding them back doesn't they just go for it all right you could be in that place so uh in your recent past you get the six of cups the page of swords and the knight of nine of cups that that soulmate of yours you wanted to take action towards them i see that because for you, this connection was bringing you the uh, emotional stability that you needed. All right. Uh, in your current situation, you get the Five of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Empress. You're healing from something from the past, which I just mentioned. So I feel like you're still healing from this connection. You're still looking back at it. You're very much depressed. You're kind of still grieving it a little. And you're healing from it. Um, this Empress, I'm not sure if this is you or them. I don't necessarily see it as being you since you're still healing. It takes a lot of healing to get to this energy. So I'm kind of sensing that... This is still the way you see this person, you know, as being your other half, your person that you want to spend your life with here. In your immediate future, you do still have to deal with this heartbreak. However, there's a, also a passionate brand new beginning coming, which is going to offer you a lot of stability here. A lot of, you know, equal give and take. Sweet things like that. So... Let me clarify. Let's clarify the fool. I think I just had a deja vu. Wow, that was a little different than a deja vu though. Hold on, I'm still feeling this thing. This is weird. This never happened to me. I look straight in the middle of the the reading. It's feeling weird. Uh, weird, good weird. But it felt like a deja vu when I saw the spread. But... It also came with a lot of a lot of feeling. Deja vu's are usually, for me at least, when I experience them, are images that I see that I think happened before. But this one came with a lot of feeling too. Wow, this was something else. 
All right, so let's see the full here. I'll have to think about that on my own a little bit after this video, so uh, until I can expand on that. And I'm not gonna hold the reading for that, so. The full here, you get the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Page of Swords. So I do see you as wanting to still move things forward with this person there's a person currently in your energy. You see this person as being very passionate, very determined, very beautiful, handsome, whatever the case. And um, you do see, you see this connection as being very stable, you know, kind of like you two may be different, but you complement each other. So you still want to go for it here with this kind of attitude, which is fresh, which is new, which is, you know, you're, you're, you're wanting this wish oh, huh? with fresh eyes, pretty much. It's kind of looking like you're fresh for it this time around. Uh, let me see. What do I want to clarify here? Should I even touch that six of cups? I know exactly what that is. And I, I feel like, you know, too. I will okay yeah this 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 connection here you saw it as being very stable uh, you did feel a very strong pull towards this other person and um, they did you know offer you this emotional stability you felt great you felt great being with this person unfortunately you put it behind you you left and again, it's looking like one of those things that even though we feel big things here, I still have to go. You know, kind of like the, that. Let me clarify this page of swords. I kind of see communication still happened afterwards, uh, like right away after you left. Now, I'm not necessarily getting this as being physical. Maybe it was telepathic. Maybe you two do feel each other and you are in each other's energies. Uh, really, really strong here because I do see you two communicating right after, right after you left. Um, and feeling that, so... It, it, in case this wasn't necessarily physical uh, contact and communication, feeling that this person is still with you and you could still reach out to them energetically made you feel really, really happy, you know? Because you still wanted to be with this person. As I said, it's looking like you didn't want to go. You kind of had to. So this was giving you hope that this person is still around, that this person you know, will be with you, that this is a way for you to hold on to them somehow. Let me see this five of cups for you in your current energies. Yeah, the no communication part is killing you. All right, that's what's keeping you very, very sad. Uh, and you want to put an end to that. You want that to end to, you know, you want for things to get back to you two having that strong spiritual connection here. And it's kind of, it's kind of looking like, look at this guy, even though it's hard, even though it's something that, um, you know, puts a lot of pressure on you, a lot of burdens, you still want to go for this. You still want this. Let me clarify the Empress now. Currently, you are healing. Still, from this. Alright? Ooh, Libra. 
Libra. Okay, so um, there might be another person coming in here for you. You are aware that you're putting this person that means a lot to you. You're putting them behind you. You're walking away from this. And you're walking straight into a love connection here. Somebody I feel like is offering you love. And I kind of get that even though this whatever situation happened with this person in the past. You're ready for new love here. You know, I don't necessarily see somebody physical coming in, but you're opening up to that possibility of somebody else coming in. Let me clarify the three of swords in your immediate future. See, you're torn. You're still waiting for this person. Uh, from the past that broke your heart you're waiting for them with an offer here and you're not taking any action you're not you're just waiting for them hmm let me see the ace of wands Um, in this healing period of yours, you're going to go within again pretty soon. Currently, you're doing it. I feel like you're coming out for, you know, for some fresh air and then you're going back in. You're going back in because you're still waiting on this person. You're still very much sad, depressed that this person is not coming in for you. This person from your past. It's painful. And you're still waiting for them. Let me see this uh, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you just want equal give and take. And I don't feel like you're going to settle for less. You're going to look because you do have options. And I feel like you're going to start looking left and right. Probably none of those left and right options in the immediate future are not going to fit this, you know, with this equal give and take what you need. Because you finally know what you want now. And uh, I feel like you're coming out as being independent for a little bit until you do find that person that can give you what you're looking for which is not a bad thing you know if you need to do that you need to do that it's up to you but it's looking like that this is how the reading is ending for you so you're you're heading that way you're still there's still a part of you that still waits for the person from the past but you're moving through it pretty swiftly. <laughs> Stubbornly, you're still holding on to this person, but you're still going on at the same time. Let me let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. There's a uh, you have a lot of love to offer, okay? And you do want a brand new beginning here in your life to bring you stability, to bring you happiness, to bring you all of that. Well, with this, at this point, I'm not necessarily seeing you holding on so stubbornly to that person from the past. I feel like that's a general visualization for yourself of what you want for yourself, which is good. If you're putting that out there in the universe, that's what you're going to get. Uh, you're still... This has nothing to do with that person from the past. This, you know, you're, you've you come to the uh, um, state of mind here 
you know that you're open to love and that that will bring you a brand new beginning in love and you're you're willing to receive that whoever that is coming towards you and i kind of do see somebody coming towards you so if you do get into this energy of being open to love you'll you'll get this person that's coming you'll get them pretty soon the more you're open to it the more they're attracted to coming in with their cup of love here so uh this is what i have for you i still see you as not letting go of this person from the past but i also feel at the same time you're kind of doing great you know it takes time to let this person go and you know that but you're you're doing your thing and i feel like that's whatever thing that is that's a good thing so um that's what i have for you and i'll see you next time bye